Nicola Sturgeon billed this as a vote on having another independence referendum. The result in Scotland was decisive. She's now set her yellow SNP juggernaut on a direct collision course with Boris Johnson's Tory blue wall in Westminster. So to the Prime Minister, let me be very clear. This is not simply a demand that I or the SNP are making. It is the right of the people of Scotland. And you, as the leader of a defeated party in Scotland, have no right to stand in the way. Nicola Sturgeon wants her independence referendum to be legally binding. For that, she needs to somehow convince the new Tory government to agree. At this stage, that doesn't look likely. There won't be another Scottish referendum because we were very clear, should we win the election, there won't be. And the reason there won't be is because Nicola Sturgeon and many other party leaders agreed at the time of the last one that it would be a once-in-a-generation chance. The SNP are on the ascendancy. Their vote share, though, was 45% in Scotland, and that's the same number that backed independence in 2014. So as well as having to convince Boris Johnson to give the Scottish Parliament the powers to have another independence referendum, they have a job to do to convince the majority of the people in this country that independence is the best way forward. Glasgow is Scotland's biggest city where the SNP won every seat. Many here say they voted first and foremost to stop Boris and his Brexit plan. But the UK result triggers a new debate on independence. I want independence and stuff. I want to get free from all the English stuff. All the Brexit stuff. Yeah. Independent, yes or no? I don't know. To be honest with you, six months ago was yes, five months ago was no, yesterday was yes, it's no. Next week, Nicola Sturgeon will demand her referendum Boris Johnson will deny permission. Both leaders claim mandates that are fundamentally incompatible. This election leaves Scotland and England pulling in different directions, tearing at the seams of the United Kingdom. Peter Smith, ITV News, Edinburgh.